I am so excited for this video because I'm working with Clinique. Let me repeat that for you one more time. I, me, am working with Clinique makeup, big makeup brand, me working with them together. So, I know. So, I'm basically showing you one of my favorite fall trends, which is how I contour, but I'm also showing you my skincare steps, like I use the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, and I'm showing you their brand new out this fall mascara. This is the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. You're going to see this in the video. You're going to see the brush, and you're going to flip out, because that's what I did. And if you guys want to check out any of these products that I'm using, then they're all available at your local Clinique counter, and I will list them down in the description. So, if you want to see this look, Keep watching. Please keep watching. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, so to start off, I already cleansed my skin with the Clinique Acne Solutions Cleansing Foam. This is all I use because I don't want to strip my skin of a ton of stuff, but when I wake up in the morning, my skin is very oily, so I do like to have a gentle cleanser. And now I'm going to go in with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is amazing if you have oily skin. It really moisturizes your skin without congesting your pores. And it comes with a pump, which, like, what more do you want out of any product ever? So I'm just going to take a single pump here and just smooth that all over my skin. Now, because I have oily skin, I'm going to be taking this Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. I'm in the color number 7, mainly because my face is more pale than my neck, and this matches my neck. So I don't have to just drag it all the way down my body. And I'm just going to start in the middle of my face and just kind of start blending it out. So this gives you a nice sheer to medium coverage. It's definitely buildable, so I like that you determine how much coverage and how much weight you're putting on your skin. My skin feels really, really nice, like already just finishing blending it. It feels like skin. It's not sticky or tacky or anything, and I'm going to move on to concealer. So for me, because I tend to have really, really dark under eye circles, I am using the Advanced Concealer. This is in the shade 1, which is matte light, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my ring finger and just smooth it underneath my eyes. The thing that's cool about this product, I've learned from testing it out, is that it really dries matte and it doesn't stay tacky, which again, for me with oily skin, if something is tacky, it's going to sink into lines. It's going to move around, it's going to crease, it's just not a good thing, and this doesn't do that at all. So because I have such oily skin, I am going to set this, but also because we've used such mattifying products previously, the foundation and the concealer, I'm just going to take this powder, and this is the Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder, oil-free, awesome for oily skin and it's not going to add any sort of cakiness because it's not like a foundation powder it's just very light to make sure everything stays in place so I'm just going to take this I'm in shade number three and I'm just going to dust it focusing mainly on my t-zone which is where I get the most oily so now we're going to move on to my favorite fall trend I am so excited I love contouring I love chiseling out your face and just reshaping things it's just such a creative way to just be artistic to express yourself to just play around with makeup so I am going to be taking this is the Clinique chubby stick sculpting contour in curvy contour or number one and it's just a contour stick I'm going to go ahead and chisel out my cheekbones bronze up my face so I'm just going to begin on my cheeks now Contouring can differ for your facial shape completely, so just play around and see what works best for you. A general rule is to stop at the edge of your eyebrow and then just kind of blend it upwards. I start at about the upper bit of my ear here and just draw to the edge of my brow. And I do the same on the other side to make sure that both sides are the same before I start to blend out. And I just blend it upwards. You just got to find the method that works best for you. That's the best part about makeup. There's no rules with how you use it, you know? There's things that can work best for some people. There's things that might work better for other people. You just got to play around a little bit. So that is pretty much contouring. You can see that there's a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of bronziness around here. You can also just take like a powder bronzer and go over top of this, or you can just take a more shimmery bronzer and just bronze. Contouring kind of sucks things in, and bronzing is just going to give you a glow where the sun would hit you on the high points of your face. Keeping with face makeup, I'm going to move on to blush, and I have been lusting over this blush for literally months. So, and this is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in Pansy Pop. I have been obsessed with cool purpley tone colors for lips, for cheeks. I love this. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to take this on an angled brush here, and I'm just going to use this on my cheeks. Okay, so I just filled in my eyebrows and primed my eyes. We're going to move on to eyeshadow, which is so exciting because I have this Clinique palette, and this is in Wear Everywhere Grays. Oh, 
wait till you see these colors. I died. I love cool toned eyeshadows. I think they are perfect for fall and uh, we're just going to play. We're just going to play. I'm going to start off and take this shade right here. So I just take a fluffy brush and I just kind of dust this all over everywhere, all over my entire eye. It sort of neutralizes any sort of redness as well as makes a base for other shadows to be blended in as well as it's super pretty. So multi-purpose. All right, I'm going to go in next with this shade right here, which check that out. Look at that shade. Oh my gosh, you guys. Prettiest shimmery taupe. I, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Any sort of shader brush. I'm just going to pop this onto the lid here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this matte brown color, which again, very pretty. It's a very cool tone brown. So we're just blending this into the crease. You can see on my eye, it's not like a warm brown. I like that we're keeping with the cooler tones here. I just think that it's so pretty. So we're just taking that crease color and we're just bringing it down underneath the lash line to add a little bit of smoke. And we're going to do the inner corner really quick because I have learned that this white shade, oh my gosh, it is so pretty, shimmery, beautiful, but it's not like a patchy white, which I find that a lot of shimmery whites are. They're like chunky and gross, and this one is so perfect. So I'm just going to take that, and I'm just going to, a little goes a long way, just right into the inner corner right there. Now you can totally stop here, but just for fun, since there are so many pretty darker shades, I'm going to take this red tone here. It's just like, what is this? It's beautiful. It's such a pretty kind of burgundy shade. Just pop it right onto the outer bit of the lid and just sort of blend it upwards into the crease. And then I'm just going to take it right on the tip and I'm just going to pop it right on the outer bit of the lower lash line here. So that is all the eyeshadow. You can completely just go crazy with a palette like this, and they have so many other tones. If you prefer warm tones, um, just a bunch of color, they've got a ton of stuff. I am going to move on to eyeliner really quickly because I do feel like with such a dramatic look, you do need to define the lash line a little bit. So I am taking this black eyeliner. This is the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes Intense in Intense Ebony or number 9, and I'm just going to run this along my upper lash lines and create a really small wing because I want the focus to be on the shadow itself and not the liner. It's so 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 pigmented so I really just have to kind of place it and drag. You don't have to push down literally at all. Okay, so now that the eyeliner is finished, I'm going to take the mascara, and this is new for fall 2015. This is the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. Wait until you see this brush. It is crazy. It's huge, and it's so cool. Like, it's big enough, but it's not going to, like, poke you in the eye, which is... Really all I want out of a mascara wand, not to poke me in my eyeball, and this is great for that. And it also just creates really nice, bold, voluminous, super just huge lashes. It's really dramatic, and for a look like this, I feel like you need nice dramatic lashes. So I'm going to start off by doing a coat on my lower lashes, because it's easier to start down here than if you start on your upper lashes and then you do your lower lashes, because then you get those little, like, mascara dots all on your eye. So start at the bottom, work your way up. It's like that Drake song, you started from the bottom and now you're here on your upper lashes. That's exactly how that lyric goes. And and I'll show you just the one eye difference here in just a second. Like, hello, night and day. Now I'm going to go ahead and do two coats on my upper lashes and just wiggle the brush through. And we're going to end with the mouth. And as I said with the blush, I have been so obsessed with really pretty purpley toned pinks. And this is no exception. Look at that color. This is the Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer in Grape Pop or number 16. And... <sighs> And just look at this color. Just look. Look. Are you looking? Look at that. Oh, God. It's so pretty. And it's so smooth. And that's all you need to do, and now you're done. So that is my perfect fall look. I will admit this is pretty much what I've been wearing anytime I go out for dinner, anytime I go out on a date. But I just love the way that this look in particular makes me feel. Like, I feel so confident. My eyes just, I feel like they sparkle. I love smiling with this lipstick on because it just kind of makes my teeth look perfect. And it doesn't make me worry that it's going to move and I'm going to touch my face and there's going to be lipstick all over the place. And I just for sure want to say thank you so much to Clinique for working with me on this video. I love their products. I love that they're all super sensitive to your skin. I just, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you do, make sure to thumbs up. And also make sure that you check out all of these products. But especially, I would say the standouts for sure are the Clinique Moisturizing Gel and the Mascara. You just gotta try this because it does exactly what it says. It says the Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. These are some chubby lashes. I love it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please thumbs up this video and check out the links down below and check out your local Clinique counter. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.